Hey love bugs, this is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope you are all doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and to my returning subs as well, thank you so much for the love and support. So I'm going to get straight to the video. Straight to the video. I'm trying to change my outro out on a little bit. But you know, I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like the video is you know it, it can really uplift somebody go ahead and connect them with it you know be truly appreciated so with that being said i hope you're able to resonate with the content of the video and the video that i'm doing right now is called twin flame 101 hey okas when when we're seeing forgiveness from a different perspective and that's what the devil hates that's true you know i'm using a different format you know and hopefully you'll be able to see my face all good and there is no glitches you know i've decided to use a different format so hopefully you know the quality be a lot more better than the ones from before so you know let me know but um anyways you know the video doing today about forgiveness you know it takes a lot for us to be able to forgive a lot of different things in our lives and you know in universe and God always tells us to start by forgiving ourselves first you know we have all gone through different things where we have felt like we've been wronged we are not being seen we're not being heard you know everything happens for a reason I know we get tired about this like it's kind of cliche ish but it is everything has a reason for happening the way it is and a lot of times the things that you are going through it's based off of some kind of forgiveness, whether it's first is the first and foremost is forgiving yourself. You know, a lot of times we have moved through life and it'll be certain things. It could be a certain name that's brought up or a certain sequence and it can start getting you into that point where it takes you right back that right there, back there at that moment. And they're always telling you when it comes up like that. It's either two reasons is when it's telling you you're on that that verge of really changing and really going through a huge transformation and this situation has taught you a lot now it's time for you to make peace with it appreciate that person appreciate that that experience and you're taking that learn lesson learn lesson with gratitude and allowing yourself to move on or it can be telling you this is something that you still need to heal from because you still are hurt by that situation whether it had to do with the encounter that actually happened in that situation or the people or person that it was you know connected to and they're telling you you have to be able to forgive that you know you have so many things that's coming in your life that's worthwhile and you you don't want to allow that to you know get into the way of anything and those are the things that they really ask you you know pay attention to you know um what brought you to your 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 purpose were you that type of person that you were abused were you a type of person that really went through something that really shattered your life did somebody dehumanize you you know something went into your life you know there's a lot of us not saying everybody but there's a lot of us that went through some kind of tragedy you know into our lives that brought us on this journey of finding out we we are empath and then when we find out we're empath and if you're like me you start investigating stuff it's like inch eye private eye start looking at a lot of different things i've been always curious it's like you know why are you saying i'm this why are you bringing up this or why does a certain song come up you know why is it you know what's the backstory on the song or what's the back story the subliminal subliminal of the movie you know all these different things i've always been that type of person like the challenge when it comes to certain situations like that I just don't like challenges per se but I like challenges on when it's you know it's coming to me and I'm really trying to understand especially you know like if you have spirit totems you know why am I seeing whales or why am I seeing a certain flower or why is this you know this bird coming at me you know all these different things are showing you you know God speaks to you through everything we're all connected you know that's why I always say on oh, my opinion it's not anything against anybody's religion I just don't choose religion i'm very uh, you know spiritual because you know to me what it was taught through god that is kind of like you're categorizing yourself in a, a certain aspect of to your life where you're breaking off you know all connections towards anything by being in one religion one belief you know um as much respect to anybody who choose to believe you know that's that's you you know um i don't disrespect i don't judge on that but i choose to go but by, by what i have you know we can agree to disagree there's people that are religious you know there's also people that are spiritual you know i've had a lot of people connect with me and they were like roslyn I don't know if I can use my my gifts of being an empath because I'm a Christian. I so you have to understand that that is attached to God. You know, um, if you know you're doing right by people, I said this is what God teaches. You know, love, kindness, compassion towards other people, and that is what's tied off 
to your empath. You know, you being an empath, and plus, you're in, you know, you use empathy. There's a lot of things that you're insisting on by helping others do your times of forgiveness. You know, and the, it, it is weird how you can, can be going through moments of healing. And you start seeing how people are connected to you that may be still having that same situation that you're going through or something that you have overcome and they're coming to you. And it's just like universe is saying, if I didn't feel like that you can overcome this and forgive this situation, why would I bring somebody else into your life that is struggling like that and they need your insight to be able to do it? And a lot of times when you're looking for answers, the universe has a funny way of connecting you with a person you're like, I need this answer. Oh, you know, think, 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 you know, you're like Winnie the Pooh, like think 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 poo you know and then they see you know there's another person will come around and then the next thing they ask you a question and, you know we, we come quick with some loose you know on certain things we come quick with it about different solutions and it was like is that the answer I've been looking for for the last three months is that what you're telling me yeah and been sitting there this whole time you know we've been trying to tell you and you get frustrated but then you're actually happy that you did it and you did a two for one special you found out the answer and then you help somebody else and a lot of times when we help other people it makes you feel very good you know it seems like you know what I paid my debt to society I made at least one or two people happy throughout my day I did my job you know and it'll be good I love what I do that's why I'm very passionate about it I used to have jobs and stuff like that and I felt very passionate about it until after I got there for a while then I started seeing I'm bumping heads with people you know hell because we do that and you know it, it's like we find enemy we are the enemy of the state the enemy of the job there's always something that's taking place but you know back on hand you know you're going through different things in your life and universe really wants you you know wants the best out of you and for you to do that they don't want us holding on to grudges these are the things that has gone on into our life and they're like speak for yourself rising you didn't go through what i go through no i didn't i truly didn't you know what you need to forgive and what i gotta forgive is two different things you know I, i'm just trying to get to where i need to get to and help you to get there too you know but it was like I had to go through a lot of terms on forgiving things and, and you know and this is where you find the core of yourself through your true power when you're allowing yourself to see the best in, in, in different things when it's hard to even see the good I'm like okay what am I seeing good in this situation because this situation was like very foobard you know very very foobard and you know and then it's just like when you look at your situation when I use mine for example I can say you know what even though this hurt me to the core for things that I went through, it showed me who I truly was when I got away from pleasing others, when I got away from getting manipulated. I got away from not allowing myself to love myself, but placing that extra love into myself. Or, you know, it allowed me to see what different things that I really need to take notice of. And then when you're doing that, that's where you start seeing the good things out of a tragic circumstance. And so they really want you to be able to understand that. These are, it's like, you, you, a lot of times it takes you to have to go for a scavenger hunt, <laughs> you know, to really find something good in the tragic situations that you have gone through. And, you know, it, it feels good for me to actually say something in a positive sense about certain things that's happened in my life that's very tragic. You know, you can have a tragic situation and have a positive outcome. It's just up to you on what you choose to have. And, you know, and they want you to be able to be very selective on that. You know, allow yourself. The first thing you do, you have to be able to do is forgive yourself first. You know, they always say find the good in everything. Being able to forgive the unforgivable. Give show and love to even to the people that don't even really deserve it. This is about your character. It's not about theirs. You know, yours is going to see. Like, even though you, there's a lot of times when you see growth and you're feeding people that you, you know, that bit your hand. You know, when you have been nice to people. That, that wish the worst on you. You know, you try to allow yourself to be calm even through the midst of the things that people created chaos for you. That's when you're learning as growth. You know, there's always got a time for that. You always say, you know what I'm saying, every dog got his day. You know, what comes out, come, you know, what, whatever you put out comes back and double, triple, dripple. <laughs> you know, so make sure it's like whatever you're doing is coming out in a good representation of yourself. You know, you know there's different things in your life that you truly want, you truly care for, you're truly passionate about. But when you're allowing yourself to go through that terms where universe is sending certain Easter eggs for you to do, whether if it's telling you, hey, go out in um, nature, you know, because nature can really, when you're clearing your mind, you're speaking to the universe and telling them, you know, I'm going through this, I'm struggling, you know, I just need some assistance 
on whatever you're trying to guide me towards because I feel lost. You're being honest with yourself. You're being very honest with yourself about different things that are taking place that you really yet don't understand. And they get that. They really truly get that. And they know the situation when, when number one, we were chosen. Ain't nothing going to come easy for us. Number one, our families picked us like, hey, Rosalind, you know, she's the go-getter. She's the one. She's the whole OG on the OG of the ham. You know, she a renegade. You know, she one of the, we just like renegades or what is it, or a reject. You know, one of them ones is just, you know, just don't care. You know, Mad Max be on a Thunderdome type cat, you know, and be one of those type of people. And I'm just like, I'm so glad you had that confidence in me. You know, and that's telling you, you had to gain your confidence up, believe in yourself. Yes, we know it's nervous. You got to be nervous and then you got to, you know, I'm nervous and I feel you're the unknown they they know that you know but that that's when they're telling you trust the process we wouldn't be sending you out to pasture now the next person next to you you never know what they're telling you they be like oh yeah we're taking you to the lottery and next thing you know you are the lottery you know it's like hey i'm sacrificing this person to get this and this and this and that you know and then they say you know but when universe is telling you to do this like trust the process it's going to be so much better than you actually realize. Just trust the process. But for you to do that, you can't hold on to what happened yesterday. It's the thing that you're, you're, you're using for that situation. They're wanting you to learn from it. What did that situation bring to you? What did, what did you learn from that situation? But it's up to you to be able to find that positive perspective into a negative circumstance. And a lot of times I can really truly understand, you know, that there's things that happen to your life. You know, maybe if you've been taken advantage of, you know, you've been touched or whatever, you know, you just got to be selective about what you say. And then to come to find out, you knew what that felt. You know how that made you look at people, not wanting people close. You don't like being touched and stuff like that. And you end up becoming an advocate for people that don't know how to function like that. And for you, it's like, how am I going to be an advocate about it when I really don't know how to be able to come out of this, this shell from me wanting anybody close and then boom you're on that that process of, of of a you know um purpose on finding yourself <coughs> excuse me discovering yourself on different things that's taking place you're finding your rights your wrongs you, what you're entitled to what you deserve allowing yourself to let go set free being out there you know allowing yourself to do your your you know your light work uh do that and then you're when you're allowing yourself you know because at first it was just like god don't really care about what i'm going through he want me to help people and not realizing when you're helping people you're helping yourself too because you're finding out different things from different directions by uh, you know by connecting with other people and it's just like universe will guide you towards different people that have actually gone through the things that you have gone through and they're telling you you're seeing it from an opposite end how bad it can really get if you don't let yourself heal or something they may have overcome and they're helping other people is you know doing that too you may have been a person in, in domestic violence and you finally allowed yourself because it's like this and i tell people you know i've met a lot of people who've gone through that and i'm also one of myself when you go through different stuff like that a lot of people are not lucky to make that out and I've seen a lot of people that wants to be able to start a program I see a lot of people that have done things to where they knew what it felt like to be in a situation where they were placed under control or they didn't have any money or they didn't speak English you know or you know they felt like you know a lot of times people program you saying nobody's gonna ever want you when they see who you are nobody's want to be bothered with you so they program you in that way and then when you're going through those different situations, you start unprogramming yourself. You know, this person was taught that they may have seen their family go through that. They're only knowing what they were, you know, what they've been, you know, normalizing, you know. And so when you're allowing yourself to go through that, you're going through an act of forgiveness. You're forgiving your, your spouse or you're forgiving your mate or you're forgiving your baby daddy or your baby moms or whatever. It doesn't always have to be a female that goes through that I've known a very uh, a very few men but it's been a lot that you know you have to get your mind out of saying it's just women that can go through that there's men that goes through it too and it's sad that certain places don't don't see their situation as ours or there's a lot of times that we can go through it and people just don't take us seriously for what we go through as well so there's always an issue about different things like that and through that form of educating yourself 
through you know universe and God and you know different situations that you're going through you're in there active forgiving yourself for holding on to these different things allowing yourself to trust a little bit you know they understand how you know you could have been really in a situation and it's hard for you to really trust it's hard for you to date you know I used to be the type of person I used to jump in one relationship and as soon as I jumped out of one relationship instead of my I did not want to feel anything I just jumped into another one and didn't know I was creating a whole hellstorm for myself and I've been you know I had to forgive myself for all those times because I felt so ashamed of myself and it was just like it made me feel like I was you know out there you know out there but it was just like I didn't allow myself to feel because I didn't like feeling pain I felt pain my whole life and I just didn't want that so I had to allow myself to really love myself in so many different ways and it's just like I didn't do that how I looked at myself the people I chose to be around the relationships I chose to be in and now it's like you know people are like hey you know you look for no I'm good but thank you anyway or you're so beautiful thank you I appreciate that oh you trying to no I'm not I'm you know I'm happily married to myself you know I'm like happy married it's like well, you yeah, yeah, myself I'm good you know we me and her good you know and not really looking for nobody and it's like you know I used to get mad when people would you know compliment me because I was like you're lying you're just trying to do that just to get your way with me and stuff like that and people are like you are a very beautiful person but it was like I was so dehumanized I did not see that within myself and I had to gain that you know so you know giving kisses to myself in the mirror and stuff like that and saying I love you and you know it's okay you know looking at myself and I used to be very and all harsh with myself because my situation I gained a lot of weight you know because I used to be so active and then it was just like when that tragedy hit me all I wanted to do was lay down and drink soda and honey buns and you know trolleys uh sour sour patch you know goombies and junk like that and then you know that was me self-medicating through you know emotional eating and then when I allowed myself to really look at myself you're a beautiful, beautiful person but you went through a lot forgive yourself for that don't look at yourself in a negative way because you really went through a lot and it could have been a lot worse with your situation you could have really went downhill for that I mean you could have went straight sliding down you know with no seat belt and no brakes but you know you went through it and then you're bringing yourself back up and that's that term you're going through a term of forgiveness you're the, you're allowing yourself to forgive yourself for letting yourself go you're allowing yourself to say it's okay I went through a situation now I'm trying to allow myself to heal and get up out of it you're forgiving yourself for allowing yourself to know that you're changing and that takes time that really takes time it takes you know progression to be able to do that it doesn't happen overnight and a lot of times it gets so painful you wish it could happen overnight but there are certain things you had to educate yourself through that process of different you know elements you know going through different emotions going through different things you know you may you cry a minute you're depressed a minute you you know you want to start you know causing issues to anybody who caused issues in your life then you start feeling sorry for people then you go to depression and it's all through the midst of those things I'm going through forgiveness and it's just like when you're going through that tragedy of you know if it wasn't self-inflicted on the things that you've gone through but something that someone else did you know you have to be able to allow yourself to say if I did not go through this would I have really found out who I was as a spiritual being would I've ever known I was a hell would I have ever known that I was you know a spiritual being or anything whatever you know gifts that you have you know it, it goes through a line of there's sometimes you know with my situation my gifts were always used as being seen as a mental illness I couldn't talk about you know um, me connecting with the people that passed over or I would see certain things or you know that was always looked at and it was mocked at you know I had people mock me for that but then there's different people that I've connected with here and it will be a beautiful thing because I would be in so much emotions when so many different things because it's like when I allow myself to be open to my gift I see how beautiful it can really help somebody you know because it's just like it, it's hard for you to be able to trust anybody when you have always been failed in so many different situations you have always been disappointed and I had to go through that as well and being able to forgive myself and forgive you know the people that caused the issues of me seeing that when I really helped a lot of people and it's just for that that person that their 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 family or best friend that passed over they brought them to me and then the next thing you know they were like hey tell them about this and they know there's no possible way of them doing you knowing that because they contacted you it wasn't the other way around or different things that I may be connected at I've had different people like 
you know, that I weirded them out because they knew it was like, how does she know that? I don't like that. She's witchy. She's doing this. You know, even though I carry that, I, I don't carry with the dark. You know, I don't carry with the evil or whatever. You know, it, it's all positive, love and light and compassion. Okay. You know, one on one. Um, but it's just going through a line of forgiveness that takes a lot to be able to do. And this is where, you know, you know, I have to remind myself a lot of times when I go through dark moments. If I didn't go through this, I really wouldn't know who my, my power was. And that's the reason why I was chosen for this. You know, even though the devil wanted to break me down, God wanted to this to break me down for me to get to the core of where I was. A lot of times you have to be able to rip that band-aid off and allow that mess. You have to doctor your scar. You know, you had to nourish it. You had to put ointment on it. You had to make sure you cleaned it, you know, keep it thorough. And for you to do that... That mess is not, you know, especially depending on how big that scar is. Because, baby, ooh, Jesus. You know, it can be there. But these are the things where they're telling you forgive that. Or forgive that person. It, it may, you know, you can't be able to forgive that person all overnight. You know, even a lot of the times you want to and sometimes you don't. And it's just like you're not forgiving them by excusing what they did. That's not what you're doing. But you're doing this to give yourself peace and understanding. Because you just don't know what is around that corner when you allow yourself to make peace with that you deserve everything that is happy that's going to uplift you that's going to be prosperous into your life and you don't want to hold on to grudges and anger towards uh, different people when they all they did is show you who they who you truly are from the core they led you to your truth and that's a lot of things you know you have to be able to tell yourself like they did this they did that you know ego will have you like that projection and fear wants you to have you like that girl don't you sit up here that's your pride don't you forgive that person this and that you remember what they did hell yeah i remember what they did this is what led me here in the first place but this is what showed me who i truly was in the midst of my pain that where I found you know when I can allow myself to not worry about the judgment or what people did or what people did said about this do they believe me do they not believe me this is not up for that it's no about what I did and I tell people real quick you know I don't I don't like it when people are like I can just imagine no you don't I'll tell people I, I don't want to imagine but I'm placing love into your life because I know they had to shook you to the core because you don't know if somebody can tell you that you don't know what that person had to process you know, so I said, be tell I had to be able to be very careful with my words because I didn't like it when people did that. I've had people tell me you didn't cry enough. You don't, you don't know what the heck I did behind closed doors. Whatever your experience, your your opinion is about my experience doesn't change it. You know, it's just me putting myself out there and being able to tell you I had to go through these things. I have my ups and downs. I have my days where I go back in, you know, in seclusion and be depressed about it and want to feel sorry for myself and go through a pity party. I've been there. But then I'm going through that mess where sometimes my solitude needs my whole attention. I got to be selfish with myself because I want to heal. I want to let things go. I want to be able to accept people and accept myself and accept my situation for what it is and for what it's worth. And give it gratitude so I can move on. Because I don't need to be walking around bitter Betty all the time. You know, I need to be able to allow myself to be lovely Lula. You know, or prosperous Patty. I want to be able to be that. You know, and I can't do that with being angry with people because I see just from the people that did that to me how they're still angry and I don't want to walk around being like that I see that from their side and that makes me just want to cry for them you know when you're going through that situation especially you can be around people that really are in pain you will want to cry out of the midst of it and you already see that is not your emotion you're carrying a, a person's you know emotion that chooses to project on people because that's how they feel themselves by hurting by seeing people suffer you know by seeing them cry all that because they're living with that and that's they can't function if they got to be functioning to their self they can't do that they always have to have a distraction in their life and for you you can no longer be you can't be like everybody else you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying everybody else in the world is like that. But you can't be like the people that choose not to focus on where I need to heal at. Where do I need to come into peace at? Where I need to allow myself. This, You know, a lot of times the battle ain't yours. Universe will guide you towards that war and just to be able to show it to you. Just for you to see what's going on. Your war is the battle with yourself. You know, and a lot of times we don't see that. Yeah, there's people out in the world that want to create a whole hell for us. But if you know God is going to protect you from everything that is not meant for you anyway. And that's why a lot of times he put us in these situations just to show us what is not for us and what is for us. And they want you to be able to base that forgiveness off on things that you have gone through. Because there are probably some people 
you know, like me, I've dated people where I forgave them all the time. And the more I forgave them is the less respect they had for me. Just because they always knew they can do something and they can disrespect me and I'll always take them back. Now it's like, oh, I forgive you, but I learned my lesson the last zillion time. I'm just not going to allow myself to do that. You know, I learned my lesson. You know, they said exes is not my exes. You know, those are examples that I know not to do again. Those are experiences I know not to do again. And they have to be able to allow yourself to use that life lesson to know what you're not going to accept anymore, what you're not going to cater to, what you're not going to entertain. And that's not making you a bitter person no that's making you assertive and being i'm very being very selective and when you're allowing that body that that body of boundary to stay very solid then there's a lot of people going you know what i like her well i like him because they very, they know exactly what they want and they already showed me what i need to pay attention to myself but if there are people that like to manipulate oh you gonna be everything in the book except something positive you know even your name don't change all oh, these you know, I said, I'm trying to pick disrespectable, so I'm not going to call any name, call any, you know, any, any kind of names that's referencing something negative. So, but allow yourself to forgive. You are so, so deserving of something more than what you truly expected yourself to deserve. deserve. So allow yourself to forgive. Whatever you're dealing with, allow yourself to forgive. Take time. One step at a time. One day at a time. Don't sit up here and look at that whole staircase because if you do, that's where you're going to lose it. Allow yourself to use it one step at a time. And then you'll start noticing all the change that has taken place and changed a lot in you for the best ways possible. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video, y'all. I'm going to do chat today at 745. And I will make sure I put a post out for that. So I will see you on my next video. Well, you'll see me on my next video. I would love to give a post notification shout out to uh, Moon Eye, uh, the philosopher. Uh, Miss uh, D. Glenn uh, Patty and uh, Jacob McDowell much love to you as well and you'll see me on my next video whatever you're working on in your manifestations is going to come up so much bigger and better than you would ever ever imagine you know if you know you are going through a lot of different things where you have constantly sex setbacks and you have been constantly going through struggle and midst of storm chaos God is going to really truly bless you and even is going to give it to you sooner than you may have expected. So allow yourself to keep going. Never give up on yourself. Never give up on anything you can't go an hour without thinking about. And you'll see me on my next video. Even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, like positivity, words, wise frequencies. You never know. All those things will really take a long, take somebody a long way. Much love to you. God bless. Peace.